I like waking up to this on day two. It's early. I got up at six. Super nice. They had a little bit of breakfast out for folks who are up early. It was really nice sleeping out here last night because the tents have open uh, ceilings, mesh. So I went to sleep looking at the stars. You wanna see what I look like in the morning? <laughs> it's the real deal. Hey, at least it's chilly out so my bed head is covered. <laughs> I barely need this jacket, but I slept in it last night so that my um, arms with my short sleeve shirt wouldn't stick to my sleeping pad. I cut corners and didn't bring a sheet because normally sheets don't stay in place on the sleeping pad anyway when you're camping. I don't know, I need to like invent some fitted ones. I bought some at one point on Amazon and they were like super rough and cheesy. <laughs> Not worth it. Hiked up here to Devil's Teeth or Devil's Tooth. Not sure which one it is, but anyway, I said I'm not doing much this morning, but I'm working. Stayed up late, getting some shots, and here I am at the rapids. Did some kind of smooth waterfally ones, and then some real fast trying to capture the water droplets ones. We're riding with Hattie today, and she's getting us ready to go. Untying us. She's going to give us a little push out. And this is our rig for today. Oh, look at you. You look like a princess. How, is your back okay? Yeah, that's, that's why I'm We are hiking to go see pictographs. Good morning, just left camp after a quick stop at the pictographs. And here we go, it's gonna be a long day. Doing 17 miles. Check out the way the waves come together from both sides. This is awesome, today we're boat number one. When you start getting more complicated rapids, you have to make a move. So maybe you start right, and then you have to move left, and then you have to move back right to avoid obstacles. And then the harder the obstacle and the bigger the consequence, and maybe the longer the rapid is when you get into more complicated stuff. And then out here, like in your guidebook, you know, it might say that this rapid is a two. But what's crazy about the salmon drain, is that, so the salmon drainage is the longest undammed river in the continental US. And so the flows are totally natural. So for like this year, we had a really high water season and it's because we had like a big snowpack in Idaho and a wet spring. So it's all that snow up in the sawtooths, up in the big horn crags and all the mountains and the drainages above melt or if we get a big rainstorm it comes down and you'll get big surges down here so that this river was like double the amount of water at the beginning of the season river of no return lodge okay and is that a creek coming out there behind yeah, them yeah that's the creek coming in and that creek is called smith gulch so up just passing smith gulch and so there's a lot of these different lodges down here and the jet boats are something that's pretty special to the to the main salmon. I, there's, you know, a lot of people I think wish they weren't here, but it does fund like a huge amount of Idaho's infrastructure and gets a lot of people out here into the wilderness. So we just went through Salmon Falls, which used to be a big water uh, rapid, but it um, got blown out by some high flows. 
I'm so scared. We're going to Black Rock Rapids. The guides went down, scouted it out. So we have our line. And uh, some of the kayakers went through already. Heard some hooting and hollering. There's been some good times happening. Glenna in the front boat and then Soma following behind in the orange boat. Whoa, look at those bounces. Nice. Wow. Here comes Miles. <laughs> no way! Are you serious? Woo! Wow, that is like impressive! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, baby! Whoa, check out Sabe Creek. That white granite looks like it's been almost like bleached by the flows. Oh, beautiful canyon that's coming out of. Looks like we're gonna pull in here for lunch. Cool. Definitely gonna go check out that creek coming in. All right, about an hour and a half. Woohoo! Sweet. Let's do this! Day two, we just finished our lovely lunch break right below Black Rock Canyon and Black Rock Canyon Rapids. And here we go! We're on! Whoa, check it out! There's hot water coming in. Those hot things are crazy, like. It's yeah. out of nowhere. I know. Woo! Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice, eddied out here and check out this stash of perfectly dried wood. <laughs> We're gonna have a fire. I love our campsite here. This is day two on the river. Amazing forest. So what's interesting here is we're on a north facing side and look how lush it is. 
I mean, it's almost like the snow melted here pretty recently because we've got trees blooming. Anyway, I heard this is um, a real old growth forest with real unique vegetation. So I will be checking some of that out tomorrow morning on the hike. But yep, there's the river down there. Check out the setup. We got the bar. We got ice and drinks like wine and all the good stuff coming out here for dinner a little while ago we had some hors d'oeuvres don't forget to wash your hands at the hand washing station that's super handy there you go run with a little pump and here's our crew unfortunately one of my besties couldn't make it on the trip had to cancel at the last minute oh turning around here to the kitchen oh yeah hi darling <laughs> our friendly crew oh we stopped today and there was a ton of wood left high and dry from high flows so we collected all this firewood what you playing Crazy, crazy eights. Oh, I love crazy eights. Hi. Hi. Look at my fabulous friends. <laughs> <laughs> hey. All right. Whoa, Jackson. <clears throat> Whoa. <laughs> All right. We got some crazy Jackson going on with these crazy eights. Yeah, check out the rigs. Here we are again. Oh, wow, this canyon is so amazing. So you might have heard we're going through the Frank Church Wilderness. And um, yeah, he was instrumental in actually getting a wilderness in this country. I believe part of the Wild and Scenic Rivers Act. I think he introduced the bill. So during the day, these boats are totally filled with all of our gear, all the food, water, tents, sleeping pads and all the goodies that everybody brings. Hey, check it out. Everybody's docked here. It was really cool seeing our friends go down in the duckies, bouncing through the rapids today. And how cool is this? Check out the kayaks. All up and down the rocks. Love that. It's almost like art in and of itself, right? All these colors popping. So we came 17 miles today. It took us, it took us all day. We could have made it here really quick in like two hours, but you know, we stopped and watched people in rapids and looked at scenery and had lunch and yeah, it was kind of like dilly-dallying really. Ooh, look at these clouds. Working this morning and trying to capture some of these amazing storm clouds. We're starting day three. Whew. I'm tired. Got to bed late, got up early, but uh, definitely invigorated and inspired by this epic scenery out here. Check it out. Looking across, there's a rattlesnake creek over there making a little waterfall, but what's most impressive this morning are these clouds. It's still dark here in the canyon. Sun hasn't risen over the ridge. In fact, I heard this campsite doesn't really get sun. What can you gather from looking at a map? Well, we're at Magpie Creek Campground and actually flowing just to my right here, my tent site, is the creek. It's just a stone's throw away. But what's really neat about this campsite is there's an old growth forest in here right behind us that's very unique I guess to this area and also that Rattlesnake Creek is across the river so when I go down there maybe we'll get a glimpse of it but we paddled by it yesterday. Last thing that's really unique about this area and it's kind of a trip is that there's two time zones. One on one side across the river over here which is Pacific and the other over here is Mountain. So it's funny, people on their phones, like the phone is toggling back and forth. So sometimes it'll say, oh, like right now it's 9 a.m. And then it'll toggle over, no, it's 8 a.m. as the phone tries to connect. But anyway, yeah, that's kind of a trip. I mean, a time zone that goes right down a river? <laughs> it's crazy. 
Looks like today's day we're gonna go through five rapids, but before we do that, let me tell you what we did yesterday looking on the map. I love my map book. Check it out. We came through Little Devil's Teeth Rapid yesterday, and you might remember we camped here at Motor. So what we did yesterday is uh, passed a bunch of campgrounds and this River of No Return Lodge, which is like a jet boat lodge. So yeah, jet boaters actually come up river, up Whitewater. They were grandfathered in when this became wild and scenic. There weren't a ton of rapids yesterday. The most interesting one, which you just saw, was Black Creek Rapid. It's a class 3-4. I think yesterday, my impression is it was like a 3+. plus. That was beautiful granite rocks, these domes that came right down to the river. After that, we ended up having lunch. We had lunch by a creek, Sabi Creek. I think is what I got in some photos yesterday. Then we paddled by these Barth uh, hot springs, which was like steamy water coming right off the mountainside. And we made our way more and more bends until eventually we got to camp. Magpie Creek, and that's where we're leaving from this morning. Today's day three, super stoked, some clouds in the sky. Definitely dressing a little differently today because of it. Packing, 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 packing up all the gear. We're loading. Looks like Hatcher's taking off with the load of gear. Saw a bald eagle fly by this morning, that was cool. And we've still got clouds, which I like. I guess today's gonna be a big day, five miles of lots of rapids right off the bat. So we got a little briefing on that. So why'd you decide to do the main salmon this lovely summer? Cause it's water and it's moving and it's fast and there's rapids. Woohoo, dude, I'm stoked just listening to you talk about it. Wow. Zoom, zoom, say goodbye to Magpie Camp. We are out. Day three. Yesterday, Vince and I were on Hattie's, and the day before that, we were with Hatcher. Yeah, good times. I wonder how wet we're gonna get today with five rapids, one of which is apparently a mile long. when you're like looking down into it. Yeah. As long as it's not too big. <laughs> okay, last rapid was unnamed Riffle. We're headed toward, what is it, Bailey? Bailey. Bailey, which is uh, gonna be a small constriction, little, uh, some waves there. They are bubbling. They are bubbling today. The Bellagio. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey Bellagio. <laughs> the guides are standing up, checking it out. Apparently we're gonna enter backwards. It's 180 time. Excellent work, Shayna. Welcome aboard, Jane. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi, hi. Nice Good job. Job, okay, go. Woo. Take a break. Take a deep breath, okay? Yeah. Awesome work, Jane. That was a big one, hey? Yeah. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah? Yeah, that was fun. Your check out the creek it's amazing to me that it seems arid out here but that there's all these creeks coming in you know it's not like you see the snow-capped peaks or anything hey miles um let's go ahead and catch this big eddy on the right 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 here just so we run with just our crew split rock here we come split rock has to Did you hear that? Split Rock has some of the best rafting waves on the river. Whoa! Whoa. Here we go! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Big mallard, here we come. Ready to get wet? Time to get wet, boys and girls. It's party time. Yeah. Damn, they're all good. So Andy, the rebel.
like some backwash here. Whoa. Woohoo. Yeah. That's crazy. Right? <laughs> That's a cool perspective over there, looking at the boats and the eddy. Look at the current going through, and they're just still, because they're in an eddy. Here we go. This is Elkhorn. Last of the big five. Woohoo, yeah. This looks good. Yeah, baby. Dun dun dun! Really? Big hole ahead. Made by that rock. Oh, this looks gnarly. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh! oh. here. I love the perspective. I love the bounce. You're like a little higher up. Whoa! Ooh, yeah! Oh! I'm not going to say it, but it's dry back here, folks. <laughs> Sorry. The what is it called? Francis Zahn Miller Wisner Packridge. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. I didn't yeah. the name now. Okay. So last year the wildfire burned all the way down to the river right here. Say, look up, look up, look up. Woo! Yes, it was, they're called pack bridges because they were originally built for pack animals. We got the team meeting over there, people chilling up high, setting up camp, people chilling here down at the water, and people chilling in the water. Woo! Love that. <laughs> Ooh, water is cold. 
60 degrees. I know, I need to like beg and grovel all my friends. Like, please, just subscribe. How's it feel? <laughs> Gorgeous. We got cheese, we got clouds. I have renamed this camp um, 3R for rocks, ridges, and rapids. High above camp, up here on the rock, with the amazing tree. Check out the view of our crew. Woohoo, this is so fun. Oh man, so glad I climbed up here to check out the view. And look at this rapid. We're gonna hit this right off the bat tomorrow morning. Gorgeous canyon. And I just can't say enough about these clouds. I'm so thankful for a little shade today. It's in the 90s without it. So it makes all the difference. Keeping us cool.